so this is the dispersion the relation for uh, one dimensional on atomic lattice vibration uh, here i have shown uh, an array of uh, one dimensional atom of uh, mass small m uh, all these uh, atoms are identical having a small m and they are separated by a small distance a uh, now if we uh, derive uh, the value of uh, angular frequency omega due to the latest vibration um, we get the following result as omega equal to root over 4 beta by m where beta is the spreading constant um, uh, sin k by 2 where k is the uh, wave uh, vector and a is the um, interatomic distance and uh, now in this video i am i am uh, not giving the entire derivation uh, of uh, lattice vibration due, uh, uh, due to monoatomic atoms uh, you can easily get it in any uh, good book and uh, uh, now i will simply do the analysis of the um, uh, of this relation and f f from the above relation uh, you can see that uh, beta is constant which is nothing but the spin constant m is the mass of the atom which is also constant a is the uh, interatomic distance which is also constant 2 is an number which is also constant so here um, here only variable is k so uh, we can easily draw a graph between omega and k and the graph between omega and k is called the dispersion relation okay so uh, so now the question arises that how we uh, draw the graph between omega and k so as you can see that uh, this part of the uh, equation is constant so uh, omega is sine k by 2 which is nothing but sinusoidal so uh, by seeing this graph um, you can argue that uh, as the uh, graph is sinusoidal then it should have curved uh, but uh, the graph is not curved it is uh, somehow linear and after uh, uh, going some distance it uh, it it ends around so actually the graph is like this so 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 now as we can see that uh, when k tends to zero uh, this part is constant uh, when k tends to zero sine k by 2 is equal to k by 2 uh, we know that uh, uh, limit uh, uh, limit theta tends to zero uh, sine theta uh, of or uh, s s small angle sine theta is uh, theta so uh, so when k uh, k tends to zero uh, sine theta is f is approximately equal to theta so it is sine k k a by 2 is equal to sine k a by 2 so uh, that is when k tends to 0 omega is directly proportional to k so that's why uh, for smaller values of k uh, means when k tends to 0 our our graph it is linearly with uh, omega and it reaches a maximum value at k equal to pi by a so uh, we can easily calculate the maximum value of uh, omega uh, for omega to be maximum uh, sine k by 2 should be maximum uh, so sine sine k a by 2 is maximum when we have sine uh, 90 degree or we have k equal to i by a so so at k equal to i by a we have omega is uh, 90 degree and 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 uh, now what is the maximum value of omega so uh, if we put k by k by 2 equal to uh, equal to 1 that is uh, uh, when sine k by 2 equal to 90 degree then we have omega equal to root over 4 beta by m so this is the maximum value of omega um, when k equal to pi by a similarly when k equal to minus pi by a we have the maximum value of omega as uh, root over 4 beta by m so 
in case of a uh, diatom uh, in case of a monatomic lattice vibration uh, this is the allowed uh, range of vibration so uh, this uh, part of vibration is allowed only in case of monotonic lattice vibration and the range between minus pi by a to pi by a is called first Lewin zone uh, likewise we have again Lewin zone also we have third uh, Lewin zone etc